What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about why I feel that Modern Warfare has changed Call of Duty forever going forward. And I'm not talking about gameplay, I'm talking about the monetization system that Infinity Ward added in to this year's game. Now when it comes to gameplay, a lot of people like the game, a lot of people don't like the game. You guys all know I've had several gripes about the 6v6. I'm a huge 6v6 fan, that's one thing I've always enjoyed playing in Call of Duty. And I was just not a big fan of 6v6 this year. I did play a lot of Ground War. Ground War was fun at times, but very frustrating at times. And when it comes to Warzone, I'm not a Battle Royale fan. So gameplay-wise, the game wasn't very impressive, in my opinion, this year. Now, some of the maps were really nice looking. The uh, operators, weapons, that kind of thing. Graphics were really nice. But just overall gameplay was not my personal favorite. Now, like I said, I know a lot of people really enjoyed it. But when I look back at Modern Warfare over the last year, the big thing that kind of sticks out to me is the monetization system. They handled the way they do everything in past Call of Duty uh, titles and did it completely different. They handled it completely different, and I think it was a breath of fresh air for a lot of Call of Duty fans. And like I said, I think going forward, you're going to see Call of Duty change because of this. Uh, first of all, you look at the store. Now, I know some items in the store were kind of expensive, but there was never an item in the store that was going to affect, you know, the way you played. It was never going to give you an advantage. Everything was either blueprints, uh, operator skins, bundle packs with blueprints, operator skins, vehicle skins, that kind of thing. Um, everything in the store was very nice looking. I, I think they made some really nice looking operator skins this year. I think they made some really nice looking blueprints. I think they handled uh, how they got some of the skins for Halloween. I think some of those were really nice looking. I think they did a really good job with that. But just overall, the store was handled correctly, in my opinion, because it looked really nice. It was very bright. It was very vibrant. It changed, you know, things in it every week. So it always had people's interest kind of peaked going back week to week to see if there was a skin that they wanted to purchase. But like I said, there was nothing in that store that you had to purchase to give you a competitive advantage like there was in some past Call of Duty installments. The next thing I think that they did really well was the Battle Pass. Now, Black Ops 4 did have a Battle Pass system, but I think Modern Warfare was a lot better. Uh, I think there was better quality items inside of this Battle Pass, and of course there were no loot boxes this year, so that helped out with the Battle Pass in my opinion as well, because you got the weapons inside that Battle Pass. Now, of course, there was a free Battle Pass and a premium Battle Pass, but, you know, in order to get the weapons, you do not have to purchase the premium battle pass. You got those for free just for playing the game and ranking it up. And now, yes, it was a grind to rank up the battle pass system. But I feel overall this was the best battle pass system they have or have had in Call of Duty. And I think it's probably one of the better battle pass systems I've seen in any game that I have played that has some type of system like this. And I think going forward, if a battle pass system in Call of Duty is worse than Modern Warfare, you're going to hear it from the community. I think the community is going to expect you know, something on par with what we had in Modern Warfare or something even better. Now, of course, that's going to be a tall task for them to do year in and year out. But I just think overall, like I said, the items were really good. Of course, you got weapons for free within that. And like I said, if you did not want to pay for the premium uh, pass, you still got a lot of good items. But of course, if you didn't want to pay for the premium pass, you could turn around and make all your currency back. That way, if you did not spend any of your COD points all year and you did every single battle pass when it was released, all you ever had to do was pretty much buy the battle pass right at the beginning of the year and you made enough currency back all the way through the year to buy each individual battle pass when it was, you know, when the old one ran out and the new one came, you know, came in or, or the new season did start. So just overall, I think the battle pass was handled very, very well. One big thing they did, which I had felt that needed to be done in Call of Duty for years now, and that was no paid, you know, DLC. Free DLC, you didn't have to pay for maps. Always, in my opinion, no matter what the game is, I can think of Battlefield did it for a long time. They would have paid DLC. Where it comes to Battlefield or Call of Duty, when you have paid DLC, it breaks the player base up. And there is no way you can have cross-gen uh, games now and make people pay for maps, make people pay for extra maps. Because it's always going to split the player base. Now, yes, with cross-gen, it would probably be a little bit better to, or easier, I guess, to find maps if, or find games if you didn't have maps or you did have maps. A lot easier it would have, than it would have been in the past where it was just, you know, you were just playing on your platform. So if you were playing on PlayStation or Xbox, for example, and you do not have the DLC, sometimes it was really hard to find matches because everyone was playing the new DLC. And if you had not bought it, you were kind of stuck in that, uh, I guess, kind of lull of not really being able to find games all the time. 
And that was kind of annoying. But I felt Call of Duty had needed to do this for a really long time. And I don't I don't really see any time going forward, probably ever, uh, of them ever adding paid DLC back in where you have to pay for maps. Now, the one downside to this, in my opinion, is it seems like you're going to get less maps at launch when it comes to having free DLC. Because in my opinion, if you're going to pay for DLC, they're going to put out a lot more maps to begin with when the game first comes out. That way, if people are not going to buy, you know, I'm sure they think, you know, not everyone's going to buy the map packs. Not everyone's going to buy the season pass. So we need to give everyone that has the game on day one or whenever they decide to buy it enough maps to keep them playing, keep them coming back to the game. When it comes to free DLC, I feel like they're going to start putting out less, you know, maps and things to begin with. And that, that way they can give a lot out over the time uh, of the game being out over the year. And at that point, you really don't have to worry about losing anybody in the player base because everyone's going to have the option to have those maps downloaded because they will just be free to, you know, free to download. They're not going to be a charge for them. Another thing I feel, I feel like they did really well when it comes to how they handled the monetization system this year, and that was Warzone. They could have charged for Warzone. They could have done Warzone as a totally separate game and charged 20 bucks for it, but they decided not to do that. They decided to make it a free-to-play thing for everyone, and I think this brought a lot of people to the game. I think a lot of people played the game anyway. It shows by the sales, and the sales numbers were insane for the year. One of the top-selling, I think it was the top-selling Call of Duty game in its first year ever. That shows you that a lot of people that even had have never played the game, uh, that played Warzone, probably went out and purchased you know the base game. It also shows you there was just tons of people flooding in that were old returning players that hadn't played Call of Duty in a while. But it just kept everybody's attention, it seemed like, this year a lot longer than any other COD had in the past. And I think adding Warzone into the game and now integrating it from Call of Duty to Call of Duty title is going to be a big plus going forward for the player base. And the last thing that was the best thing they did, in my opinion, I've already touched on this a second, uh, or, you know, a couple seconds back a, a little bit ago, and that was weapons being free. Not just weapons being free, but no loot boxes. Loot boxes in the past were a big pain because you would go in there and there would be tons of new weapons in the game, but you just had to get the luck of the draw to be able to get them out of a loot box. And I can't tell you how many Call of Duties I've played in the past where I was getting outgunned by a weapon that I didn't get the entire year the game was out because I was not going to just dump hundreds to thousands of dollars into loot boxes to be able to get some of these weapons. And I felt that was a very unfair advantage. And this year by them not having, you know, weapons you had to pay for within loot boxes was a really great idea. And I know a lot of people were getting worried to begin with. Some of the rumors were coming out that uh, Cold War was going to have loot boxes. And then Treyarch came out and said, no, they're going to continue to go with the same battle pass style system, the same monetization system that Modern Warfare has. I think that was a big sigh of relief for everyone because if they would have gone back to that uh, loot box system, I, I think we would probably just felt like we were going back in time and playing a Call of Duty from 10 years ago. Um, another thing that I, I think overall that's really going to kind of, one re the last reason, I guess, overall, I think why this is going to be a, a COD that changes Call of Duty forever going forward is because in the past, if you're like me, you've played all the COD titles. What is the one Call of Duty that everybody talks about that's a Call of Duty veteran? Uh, do you remember how good COD 4 was? Back in COD 4 days, it's kind of what you always hear from Call of Duty veterans. I think there's been so many new people come to the game now with Warzone uh, that have come back to playing uh, after not playing Call of Duty titles for years. I think a lot of people are going to look back now years down the road and say, do you remember when this happened in Modern Warfare? Do you remember when they added this in Modern Warfare? And I think one of those things that a lot of people are going to talk about in years to come is going to be, do you remember how they changed the entire monetization system of Call of Duty and how it acted by just, you know, doing that in one game and that game, of course, being Modern Warfare. Um, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. Do you think the way that they have handled the monetization system this year will change all Call of Duty titles going forward? Or do you think some time in the next several years, one of these companies is going to slip up and kind of go back to that old system? Personally, I don't ever see that happening again. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description. GT Racing, the community Discord, and of course my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.